Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and I wanted to show off PlayStation Now, which released for the PC today. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is Sony's streaming on-demand gaming service, and it basically allows you to play PS3 games on a laptop or um, a basic PC. And because all of the hard work is done in the cloud, you don't need a particularly impressive um, computer. Now, what I'm showing off here is how you can use the DualShock 4 to navigate the menus. You just plug it in with um, the USB cable that you get with it, or you can use the new wireless adapter that they announced yesterday when it's released next month. So I'm going to show off God of War 3, and remember this is being streamed totally over the internet. You need a pretty good connection to take advantage of this, and it does take a while to load, so I've sped up the loading times here. It's, it takes about a minute to get into the game, which is quite excessive, but when you speed it up with the power of video editing, it's not so bad. So here we are, this is the PS3 game running on a PC. Now my PC is a lower resolution than 1080p, so I apologize if it looks a little bit stretched, but it should be fine. So you can see you can access a basic version of the XMB here. You've got the trophies and your friends list and everything works exactly as you'd expect it to, um, as was the case on a PS3. And here the game is booting up. Um, again, it's exactly the same as the experience that, that you'd get on a PS3. So straight into the game, Kratos is looking mad. Um, all the options are there from the PS3 game. You can save the game and load load it back up, and your your game progress will be saved in the cloud. So I'm just going to start a new game here. My vengeance ends now. My brothers. We were forged in victory. A victory that ended the Great War and brought forth the reign of Mount Olympus. Born from the depths of the underworld. Rooted in the river of souls. Our mountain emerged out of the chaos. As it grew, so too did the might of the Olympians. He created a world of peace, a world of prosperity, a world that lives in the shadow and safety of my mountain. A mountain that has come to be the absolute measure of strength and power. is to be tested. The mortal Kratos seeks to destroy all that I have wrought. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite. We will stand together. So this intro goes on for quite a while, so I'm just going to talk over it while it's going on. Um, a subscription to the um, PlayStation Now service costs about $12.99 a month in the UK, which is quite expensive, but there's 300 games available on demand. Um, you don't need to rent any of them or pay for any of them individually. Once you're subscribed, you get um, full access to the whole catalogue, which Sony claims is going to grow over time and as you can see from this cutscene here the, the video quality is pretty good it's not as good as if you were playing it natively on a ps3 but um, it's comparable with decent streaming catch-up services like netflix and stuff like that there is a bit of macro blocking um, and it does stutter occasionally but all of this is going to depend on your internet connection my internet's pretty fast but people who have got super, super fast connections will probably get an even better experience here. Zeus! Your son has returned! I bring the destruction of Olympus! The Titan is the failure! So 
So we're into the game now. Um, as you can see, um, it plays identically to on the PS3. And considering that everything's taking place in the cloud, it's really responsive. It feels good. Now, this game did have some performance problems on the PS3 originally. It wasn't a smooth 60 frames per second. And because it's the PS3 version that you're playing, you still get those frame drops that were in the original. It doesn't feel perfectly smooth. And there is a slight bit of lag from the fact that you're playing over a network basically but it's hard to notice unless you really really look for it and actually as you play the game you forget that you're kind of streaming out over the internet and it just feels natural which is quite impressive really So I'm just going to work my way to the fight with Poseidon because it's one of my favourite parts in this game and then we'll switch to something else and um, I'll show you that as well. But I absolutely love this intro to God of War 3, <laughs> it's so cool. So like I was saying before, it really does feel very responsive. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And as I was playing this, I really forgot that I was streaming it over the internet and really felt fully in control. Now, if you, I did have a go at Street Fighter 4, which didn't feel as good, but obviously that's a game that relies even more than God of War, even more than God of, even more than God of War on perfect inputs um, so you're probably going to want to play slightly more subdued games than competitive fighters but um, like I say this game was totally fine uh, and it still looks impressive today doesn't it it's unbelievable how uh, just ridiculous this set piece boss fight is and here with the QTEs it just kind of proves how responsive it is I didn't fail a single one um, it felt good, it felt like the button prompts were reacting immediately to my presses. Um, which again, it is impressive. This is being streamed over the internet, which is amazing really.
this boss fight does go on and on and on and on, but um, for the purposes of the video we'll change the game and so you can just close out and you're back into the main kind of app where all the game selection menus are. So let's load up something a bit more arcadey um, with Super Hang On. Um, and again, the loading time is quite long, so I'm just going to really quickly um, edit that so that it speeds up and loads faster than you would get in real time. It takes about a minute. There we go. And this was the version of Super Hang On that Sega ported to the PS3, obviously. Um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but um, every game has full trophy support and you can sync those trophies to your usual PSN account so yeah you can unlock trophies as you play it's a nice little intro isn't it Now Super Hang On really surprised me because, um, as I was saying before, a Street Fighter wasn't great, it didn't feel particularly as responsive as I would have liked it to be, but you'd think Super Hang On would suffer from the same issue, but I actually found this was even more responsive than God of War. Um, it just felt like it was playing natively on, um, on a console or on, on the computer. I mean, you can see how, how good it looks. This was a good ported version, a good emulation, um, and it runs really well here on the cloud. That crash wasn't caused by um, any latency issues or anything like that. That was just my poor playing ability. Yeah, feels good, looks really, really good, um, and this is an absolute classic of a game, isn't it? But yeah, this gives you a good idea of how PlayStation Now works um, and what kind of performance you can get on PC. Now, it's obviously available if you subscribe. You can use it on the PS4 as well, and I believe there's a Vita app as well. And I think what Sony's trying to do with this is it's thinking long term, it, but it's thinking to 10, 15 years in the future when there will be no consoles and you'll stream basically PlayStation from whatever electronics appliance you have. But here's a quick look at some of the games that are available. Everything's categorized by genre or um, by publisher. And you can see there's tons of games available. The problem for me is that because I was covering PS3 on Push Square throughout much of the generation, I've actually played most of these. But if you were new to the PS3, or you never got to try most of these games, then there's an absolute treasure trove of titles to test out. Everything from The Last of Us to Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, the Bioshock games, there's Mortal Kombat, there's, there's a ton of Telltale stuff. Um, and there's a seven day trial if you want to test it out. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you around.